For this speedrun session, I'm going to show you how to deploy and run your Unity server build on an EC2 instance. First, we need to generate a key pair so we can SSH to the EC2 instance. So under the AWS EC2 console, under Network and Security, select Key Pair and hit Create Key Pair. Provide a memorable name so that you can find it easily. Keep the PEM option selected and then hit Create Key Pair and it should automatically be downloaded in your browser. Now we need to change the permissions so that the EC2 instance will allow us to connect to it. So do a chmod 400 on the key. Now let's launch our EC2 instance. So back in the EC2 console, hit launch instance. You can leave all the default options selected and note the instance type is under the free tier. If you'd like to change the memory or disk allocation, you can always go back and update those later. When you get to the security group configuration, here we're gonna do a little bit of customization. So select create new security group. So you can see there's already permission for SSH. Then hit add rule, select custom TCP, and the port you'd like to connect on. Here I'm gonna use 7000. Under source, hit the drop down and select my IP. And you can provide a description if you'd like. You can start with using your IP for the sources, especially for the SSH. But for the TCP rule, you might want to expand out to let your friends play, so you might want to allow a couple more IPs in there. So you can just add additional rules and put their IPs in there for testing. When you hit launch for the instance, it asks you to select a key pair to use. Select the one that we created earlier and hit launch instance. I'll copy the new IP address from the EC2 instance and paste it into my TCP Unity client. And you can see here it uses the port 7000. When you build your Unity project as a server, make sure to select the correct architecture. Here I'm going to use Linux and x86-64. And don't forget to check that server build option. So to upload the build to the server, I'm going to use SCP to copy the entire folder to the EC2 instance. You specify the downloaded PEM file, along with the folder name, the EC2 user, along with the IP address of the instance we just launched. And at the very end you'll see colon tilde slash dot, that just means it'll upload on the base directory on the EC2 instance. You can change this to point to wherever you'd like. After it's finished uploading, we'll go ahead and SSH to the instance. And again, you'll have to supply the PEM file along with the user and IP address or DNS. Now that you're on the instance, go into the folder and run the server build executable. I'll connect with my TCP Unity client and you can see that I'm receiving messages from the server now. And I'll check on the running executable on the server and you can see all the communication that happened after we established our TCP connection. So that's a short version of how to get a Unity server up and running on an EC2 instance. I'm using a modified version of my game lift client and server that I made in a past video linked in the description. So if you'd like, check those out and you can basically modify it to do the same thing here. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.